What's going on guys? Noah 5 Ash back here. Out here at the preserve on the nice little waterfront here that we got going. We're gonna take you through a little updated version of the bag. Not much has changed, but just a little bit. So I'll show you the stuff that's the same and then I'll go into a little bit more detail on the stuff that's a little newer. We'll start with the top pouch, the bread and butter, the putt putters. We got two nylon glow wizards here. Both got this sick little tree stamp, circle stamp with the Rasta colors. Truly unique disc golf, hooked me up with these. Really loving these for the putt. For my throwing wizard, I go with a glow kind of premium wizard. It's honestly super old. It's got like the old stamp on it if you know about that old, old gateway stuff. My boy AJ from the WNC club, he owns Black Bear Barbecue. He hooked it up with this thing. You know how it is. He always, always showing love in the club and you know, I can't, can't get enough support from them. You know, it's, it's just all loves. For my sidearm putters, we have two Devil Hawks. This is my flippy one, super puddle topped. I can hyzer flip this one, I just have it glide left. This one is my workhorse right now. It's for wins, just a little bit more consistent than the white one. So if I need something that hyzers back a little harder, I'm reaching for this one. Now for my mid ranges, we have five mid ranges. We'll start with the Warriors because I always had these in the bag already. These are my three Warriors. This one's my flippy one. I've been fleshing this one up. It flips over, maybe holds really straight. These two are my stable ones. They're just compliments to each other in case I lose one, water, sidearm, you know how it is. Loving both of these. For my new mid ranges, I'm throwing on this disc called the Morning Star. These things have a little bit of dome on them. This one's a glow, this one's like a premium plastic. They're both really solid discs. They're super straight flyers. I can make them bend over just a little bit to the right because I have a little bit more power. So these things, great flyers for me. I'm loving both of those. On to some fairways, we'll go with seven speeds and then upgrade, you know, upgrade up to the, to the nines. Only seven speed I'm rocking right now. I actually ended up losing my roller disc not too long ago, so I'm trying to find another replacement assassin. But right now I'm, I'm rocking this one. It's a little bit stable, over mold. It's flying really nice, loving this thing. For my nine speeds, I got a couple nine speeds. For my three nine speeds, I got two ninjas in one blade right now. I did have a lot more blades in the bag, but since being around a couple water courses and I haven't went back home in a, in a couple months now, so running low on blades. Gonna need to re-up when I get back around. Still loving those. For my two fairway drivers, or sorry, three, three fairway drivers at the nine speed. These are back end only. I usually don't ever flick these unless I'm in a really, really tricky spot. This one is my most flippy one. I've been seasoning this one up for a couple seasons now. It's flying really nice, really fleshy. This one's my most stable one. Loving this for hole three out here at the preserve. Easy hyzer flip with a good amount of finish. And this is the brand new one that I just put in the bag. It's a good complement to these two because it's right in between them. I need it just for hole six this weekend. Loving this disc. All right, and then on to everybody's favorite, the distance drivers. We'll start out with some specialty distance drivers that I have in the bag, and then we'll show you my new guys that I got going. For my specialty discs, you already know I got my spirits. Loving the Ricky Bobby. She's my baby. Never going to lose this thing, and if I do, I might cry a little. This one, Team Gateway. Got it in a little shipment. It's a little gummier, but the beefiest of beef dogs. I'm talking 25, 35 mile per hour winds. No problem. And this is my flippy, one of my flippy distance drivers. Since I don't have a lot of spells beat in right now, and uh, as flippy as I want them, I have this in the bag to kind of complement them. The baby blue illusions, if you're a, if you're a gateway fanboy, 
you know that these are the bread and butter of illusions the baby blues furthest flyers 600 foot bombers these things go forever and then finally for my brand new disc in the lineup i'm so excited to be sharing you with this disc because i am genuinely happy with how it came out it is called the spell i have five of them in the bag right now they're you know anywhere from super stable to super flippy you know they're just like destroyers you can get them hogs you can get them straight you can get some flippy ones this yellow one puffed up a little bit in the rim not as much dome but flies so good it pops up and just holds right a little bit of baby finish at the end this green one right here both of these are hemp plastic by the way I have four hemp plastics one regular the hips are flying really good this one's a 165 gram spell so it's a little lighter you know you don't want to throw it in too heavy of winds but a tailwind this thing doesn't stop flying it'll go for a country mile loving the spell and then these are my workhorses those are my little flippier ones tailwind left to right tailwinds I'm not picking those up into a headwind though my headwind spells are these white ones right here these these two hemp ones really consistent a little bit beefier than this one they're all about the same when they first started but this one got a little chunk taken out the bottom because I threw it on some rocks over at uh at the zoo town got a little chunk taken out of it so this one's my straight one really fleshy but really far flyer super consistent on the torque can throw it back in and sidearm and the same goes for these two these are my favorite this one's a little fleshed up so it pops up and will ride just a little right but still that consistent comeback and this one's my workhorse right now I'll probably be throwing this one a lot this weekend just a little hyzer just watch it dump back every time so I'm loving these spells I can't wait to work these into the bag more this season well there's my bag right there you know what time it is Have a good time. Perfect.